So after everything, I would now like to tag my one person that I mentioned at the start of this video. I would like to tag Life with Lydia. I would love it if she could do the tag because her channel is all about mental health. She vlogs her life and her journey and everything that comes along with her mental health condition. And because I know that she has like more than one condition, I was like, better to do this video than Lydia. So if you're watching this, Lydia, you have been tagged and I would love to see your video. Don't let me drown. Um, yeah. Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, hello, my name is Lydia and I'm going to tell videos pretty much every day. Today, I'm doing a tag video because my friend Louise, as you just saw, tagged me. I haven't filmed a tag video in a hell of a long time. Before I get into this, I want to quickly tag some people to do this. So, I tag Fragmented Psychic, Anna Workman, Jess's Life, and all of you guys. <laughs> so, if you're watching this and you are a YouTuber, feel free to make this if you, have, if you want to talk about mental health. If you don't have a YouTube channel, take part in the comments down below because I'd love to know your answers to these questions. I put the questions in the description box down below so it means the world to me if you could take part in this. Question 1. What is your mental health issue? I am currently diagnosed with borderline personality disorder, EDNOS which is eating disorder not otherwise specified, CPTSD which is complex post-traumatic stress disorder, depersonalization and derealization which are two different dissociative disorders. I'm also diagnosed with anxiety, depression. I'm also diagnosed with body dysmorphic disorder. Question number 2. Do you have medication or go through therapy. So I have done therapy. I'm making a whole video about therapy. At the moment my only plan of action is taking my medication. The medication I take is quetiapine, phenylphaxine and trazodone as my main three. I then have clonazepam every night. I take lorazepam twice a day and then I have it when I need it. I just have it during the day when I need to and it works like that. I also take zopiclone at night because it helps me sleep. Question three. How long have you had mental health issues for? So I got my first diagnosis when I was 14, 15 ish. I want to say but I've struggled with low mood and food issues a lot longer. I got diagnosed with an eating disorder at age 14 and things have just been like it probably was there before it just wasn't diagnosed. Anyone who has followed me since then, hi that's a while. Back then I was diagnosed with bipolar and I went inpatient onto an intensive care unit for children and I was diagnosed with bipolar initially and that now that's changed to borderline personality disorder that got changed when I was 18, 19. I can't remember the exact age. I think I was 18 though. So it's been like, it, it's definitely been lifelong. I self-harm from a young age and those of you don't know, self-harm is a sign of mental illness. Question four. Do your friends and family know? Yes. Um, my family know because of the impatient and because of how I used to live with them. Number five. Does this affect your ability to work and study? So to work, yes. I think this year I had a sick note. It's now expired but my GP is always like, if you want one me to write one, let me know. I'm not looking to work. It's I'm advised against working, especially while I'm on medication I'm on. I, I do study. I study film production. Number six, what makes you feel calm? So I have a mental health crisis box. I also sell these on Amazon. Not Amazon. I wish I sold them on Amazon. I sell these on Etsy and basically put loads of self-soothing stuff in. I like candles. I it sounds weird. I like watching like the flame like burn. So I'll watch it. I'll just sit there watching a candle for hours on end. Number seven. What do you do in a panic slash anxiety attack? If I'm in, I have my weighted blanket and I just kind of wrap that around me and distract myself from all the thoughts before it hits panic. If I'm having a panic attack, I take my medication. Number eight, what advice would you give to someone struggling from a mental illness? Have some support, whether it's peer support, professional support, family support, internet support. Have some kind of support and have people around you. Do not isolate yourself. Isolation is literally the worst thing you could do. I look forward to reading what you guys have said in the comments down below. Thank you again to Lou for tagging me. And with that, I'm going to end this video here and I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video. Peace. Oh, also, subscribe if you haven't already because, you know, join our little family. Peace.